My name is Ludwig Katzenstein. I was born in a city in Germany called Eschwege, November 22nd, 1924. We had a good life in Germany, a wonderful life. We had everything there, wonderful schools, kosher life. I was happy, but then it all stopped. When Hitler came to power, that was the worst part of my life. We couldn't go into open places, we couldn't go into regular schools. We were attacked. When our doorbell rang, we were in shivers. You never knew who would come and take you away. Most people thought that Hitler would not stay very long, that he would get thrown out. They didn't realize what my father realized. My father had a friend, a Mr. Stein, Mr. Stein said to my father, we have to send our children away and we can stay here. So my father said, don't you believe that? We all have to go. So he found a way to get us out. Three weeks before Kristallnacht, the night of broken glass, the Nazis destroyed all the Jewish homes, destroyed synagogues and businesses. Everything was broken. That took every joy out of life. Every joy out of life. We left Germany about 10 o'clock in the morning. You had to leave everything you grew up with. But we had to face reality and we had to do it. We had to leave. We were on the train and we get to the border of Germany and Holland. Who gets on the train? the Gestapo. Let's see your passport. Where is the red J? Red J signifies in German Jude, which means Jew. They took us off the train and put us in a holding cell. We were in a prison. We were nice people, but for the Nazis, we were criminals for being Jewish. My father asked permission, could he go into the town to get the Red Jays? So they gave him permission to go. They put the Red Jay in the passport. My father came back and finally in the evening, they let us go. We thanked God. We prayed to God and thanked him for saving us and letting us go to freedom. Now we are on a train going through Holland. My father went to the train master. He asked him to telegraph the captain of the Queen Mary. We were supposed to catch the Queen Mary the next day at noon. However, since we were held up by the Nazis, we would never make it. Would the captain be so good and hold up the Queen Mary until we get there? We rushed to the English Channel. They rushed us to the port. That captain waited for us six hours. He saved our lives. To go into this ship, this glowing, beautiful ship, you get such a feeling of awe. There's no other ship in the world like her. In fact, Queen Mary was the first ship that had a synagogue on board. We had a rabbi. The rabbi observed in the kitchen that everything was done according to religious law. My brother and I, we went from the front to the back and from the top and the bottom. There wasn't a spot that we didn't touch. The ship felt not just a ship going on water. We felt like flying, flying over the sea. Everything on the Queen Mary was lavish. The restaurants, these halls, everything. It was a life of leisure. This ship has a soul. You get so woven in that I wanted to stay longer. I didn't want to leave, but we had to get off. We were in New York, we had to get off. The trip was four and a half days from Cherbourg to New York, and that's a record, a world record. It was Captain Irving who accomplished this. I can never forget that feeling I had when we came into the port of New York. When do you see this Statue of Liberty? She represents this freedom that only America has. Queen Mary came here in a fanfare. All the people on the ship, they blew the horns like New Year's. 
When the Queen Mary reaches New York, there's a tugboat strike. It takes three tugboats to pull in the Queen Mary. Captain Irving was able to pull the Queen Mary into port on its own power. This was an accomplishment that no other captain ever duplicated. Captain Irving was a mensch. This man had a heart to save four people. If that hadn't happened, they would have sent us back to Germany. We would have been slaughtered. I'm so deeply thankful to him and this wonderful ship, Queen Mary. He saved our lives. I'm 89 years old and I have had a wonderful life.